And with 15 seconds to go, it's Hotfoot Henry racing across the pitch. Rooney tries the slide tackle, but Henry's too quick. Just look at that step over. Oh, no, he can't score from that distance. It's crazy. It's impossible. Oh, my goodness, he cornered the ball. Hurried Henry and the Football Fiend by Francesca Simon. Read by Miranda Richardson. <laughs> Hurried Henry peeks at Peter's diary. What are you doing? demanded Horrid Henry, bursting into Peter's bedroom. Nothing, said Perfect Peter quickly, slamming his notebook shut. Yes, you are, said Henry. Get out of my room, said Peter. You're not allowed to come in unless I say so. Horrid Henry leaned over Peter's shoulder. What are you writing? None of your business, said Peter. He covered the closed notebook tightly with his arm. It is too my business if you're writing about me. It's my diary. I can write what I want to, said Peter. Miss Lovely said we should keep a diary for a week and write in it every day. Boring, said Henry, yawning. No, it isn't, said Peter. Anyway, you'll find out next week what I'm writing. I've been chosen to read my diary out loud for our class assembly. Horrid Henry's heart turned to ice. <coughs> Peter read his diary out loud, so the whole school could hear Peter's lies about him. No way! Give me that! screamed Horrid Henry, lunging for the diary. Screamed Peter, holding on tight. Mom! Help! Henry's in my room! And he didn't knock! And he won't leave! Shut up, tattletale! hissed Henry, forcing Peter's fingers off the diary. Mom! shrieked Peter. Mum stomped up the stairs. Henry opened the diary, and before he could read a single word, Mum burst in. And he told me to shut up, wailed Peter. Henry, stop annoying your brother, said Mum. I wasn't, said Henry. Yes, he was, snivelled Peter. And now you've made him cry, said Mum. Say sorry. I was just asking about his homework, protested Henry innocently. He was trying to read my diary, said Peter. Henry! said Mum. Don't be horrid. A diary is private. Now leave your brother alone. It was so unfair. Why did Mum always believe Peter? Oomph. Horrid Henry stalked out of Peter's bedroom. Well, no way was Henry waiting until class assembly to find out what Peter had written. Horrid Henry checked to the right. Horrid Henry checked to the left. Mum was downstairs working on the computer. Dad was in the garden. Peter was playing at Goody Goody Gordon's house. At last, the coast was clear. He'd been trying to get hold of Peter's diary for days. There was no time to lose. Tomorrow was Peter's class assembly. Would he mention Sunday's food fight when Henry had been forced to throw soggy pasta at Peter? Or when Henry had to push Peter off the comfy black chair and pinch him? 
Oh, yesterday, when Henry banished him from the Purple Hand Club and Peter had run screaming to Mum. A lying, slimy worm like Peter would be sure to make it look like Henry was the villain, when in fact, Peter was always to blame. Even worse, what horrid lies had Peter been making up about him? People would read Peter's ravings and think they were true. When Henry was famous, books would be written about him, and someone would find Peter's diary and believe it. When things were written down, they had a horrible way of seeming to be true, even when they were big, fat lies. Henry sneaked into Peter's bedroom and shut the door. Now, where was that diary? Henry glanced at Peter's tidy desk. Peter kept it on the second shelf next to his crayons and trophies. The diary was gone. Rats. Peter must have hidden it. That little worm, thought horrid Henry. Why on earth would he hide his diary? And where on earth would that smelly toad hide it? Behind his good-as-gold certificates? In the laundry basket? Underneath his stamp collection? He checked Peter's sock drawer. No diary. He checked Peter's underwear drawer. No diary. He peeked under Peter's pillow and under Peter's bed. Still no diary. OK, where would I hide a diary? Thought Horrid Henry desperately. Easy. I'd put it in a chest and bury it in the garden with a pirate curse on it. Somehow... He doubted Perfect Peter would be so clever. OK, thought Henry. If I were an ugly toad like him, where would I hide it? The bookcase. Of course. What better place to hide a book? Henry strolled over to Peter's bookcase, with all the books arranged neatly in alphabetical order. Aha! What was that sticking out between the Happy Nappy and the Hoppy Hippo? Gotcha, thought Horrid Henry, yanking the diary off the shelf. At last he would know Peter's secrets. He'd make him cross out all his lies if it was the last thing he did. Horrid Henry sat down and began to read. Monday. Today, I drew a picture of my teacher, Miss Lovely. Miss Lovely gave me a gold star for reading. That's because I am the best reader in the class, and the best at maths, and the best at everything else. Tuesday. Today, I said please and thank you 236 times. Wednesday. Today, I ate all my vegetables. Thursday. Today, I sharpened my pencils. I ate all my sprouts and had seconds. Friday. Today, I wrote a poem to my mummy. I love my mummy. I came out of her tummy. Her food is yummy. She is so scrummy. I love my mummy. Slowly, Horrid Henry closed Peter's diary. He knew Peter's diary would be bad, but never in his worst nightmares had he imagined anything this bad. Perfect Peter hadn't mentioned him once. Not once! You'd think I didn't even live in this house, thought Henry. He was outraged. How dare Peter not write about him? And then all the stupid things Peter had written. Henry's name would be mud when people heard Peter's diary in assembly and found out what a sad brother he had. Everyone would tease him. 
Horrid Henry would never live down the shame. Peter needed Henry's help, and he needed it fast. Horrid Henry grabbed a pencil and got to work. Monday. Today, I drew a picture of my teacher, Miss Lovely. I drew her with peaky ears and a great big giant belly. Then I turned it into a dartboard. Miss Lovely gave me a gold star for reading. Miss Lovely is my worst teacher ever. She should really be called Miss Lumpy. Miss Dumpy Lumpy is what Gordon and I call her behind her back. Tee hee! She'll never know! I am the best reader in the class, and the best at maths, and the best at everything else. Too bad I have smelly pants and knitty hair. That's more like it, thought Horrid Henry. Tuesday. Today, I said please and thank you 236 times. Not. I called Mum a big blobby pants face. I called Dad a stinky fish. Then I played pirates with the world's greatest brother, Henry. I wish I were as clever as Henry, but I know that's impossible. Wednesday. Today, I ate all my vegetables. Then I sneaked in loads of sweets from the sweet shop and lied to Dad about it. I'm a very good liar. No one should ever believe a word I say. Henry gets the blame, but really everything is always my fault. Thursday. Today, I sharpened my pencils. All the better to write rude notes. I ate all my sprouts and had seconds. Then threw up all over Mum. Eww, what a smell. I really am a smelly toad. I am so lucky to have a great brother like Henry. He is always so nice to me. Hip, hip, hooray for Henry. Friday. Today, I wrote a poem to my dummy. I love my dummy. It's my best chummy. It tastes so yummy. It is so scrummy. I love my dummy. <sighs> Much better, thought Horrid Henry. Now that's what I call a diary. Everyone would have died of boredom otherwise. Henry carefully replaced Peter's diary in the bookcase. I hope Peter appreciates what I've done for him, thought Horrid Henry. <laughs> The entire school gathered in the hall for assembly. Peter's class sat proudly on benches at the front. Henry's class sat cross-legged on the floor. The parents sat on chairs down both sides. Mum and Dad waved at Peter. He waved shyly back. Miss Lovely stood up. Hello, mums and dads, boys and girls. Welcome to our class assembly. This term, our class has been keeping diaries. We're going to read some of them to you now. First to read will be Peter. 
everyone pay attention and see if you too can be as good as I know Peter has been. I'd like everyone here to copy one of Peter's good deeds. I know, I can't wait to hear how he has spent this last week. Peter stood up and opened his diary. In a big, loud voice, he read, Monday. Today, I drew a picture of my teacher, Miss Lovely. Peter glanced up at Miss Lovely. She beamed at him. I drew her with piggy ears and a great big giant belly. Then I turned it into a dartboard. What? It was always difficult to read out loud and understand what he had read. But something didn't sound right. He didn't remember writing about a pig with a big belly. Nervously, Peter looked up at Mum and Dad. Was he imagining it, or did their smiles seem more like frowns? Peter shook his head and carried on. Miss Lovely gave me a gold star for reading. Phew, that was better. He must have misheard himself before. Miss Lovely is my worst teacher ever. She should really be called Miss Lumpy. Miss Dumpy Lumpy. <laughs> Thank you, that's quite enough, interrupted Miss Lovely sternly as the school erupted in shrieks of laughter. Her face was pink. Peter, see me after assembly. Ted will now tell us all about skeletons. But, but, gasped perfect Peter. I, I didn't, I, I never. Sit down and be quiet, said the head, Mrs Oddbod. I'll see you and your parents later. wailed Peter. Mum and Dad stared at their feet. Why had they ever had children? Where was a trap door when you needed one? <laughs> whimpered Mum and Dad. Naturally, Henry got into trouble. Big, big trouble. It was so unfair. Why didn't anyone believe him when he said he'd improved Peter's diary for his own good? Honestly, he would never, ever do Peter a favour again. <laughs>